can hear that music. I know. It must be the second puzzle completions game. Hello again, and here we are. So, what is the Puzzle Completions Gang? Jigsaw Chill Zone and its members can send in details of puzzles they've completed for me to go through, show pictures of things, where they live, put flags in maps, and basically have a bit of fun. So, here's have a quick review of the first one. The first one we had three people, two from the USA, Mark Manning, who lives in Florida, Laurel McCarg, who lives in Colorado, and Simona C, who lives in Belfast. They get added also to this table, if I've edited it right, there it is. So, how do I get on the Puzzles Completions Gang? The members can fill out this form it's got loads of bump on it or you can just get in touch with me and i'll say can you send us this that and the other and let's have some fun so without further ado on with the first draw <laughs> so let's go draw one we've upgraded to Mrs. Lady's bigger Pyrex ball. Don't tell her. Got more of these little Jenga pieces in it. So let's pick one out. Without looking, it is number two. Two. And number two in my trusty folder. Oh, we're upgrading all the time. Is number two is Ingrid Baker. Well done Ingrid, you've been drawn. And there is Ingrid's profile pic. Ingrid was born in Trinidad, the West Indies, just off the coast of Venezuela. Venezuela? Venezuela? Venezuela. I'll have to practice that in second take. Yeah. Um, she's lived in Norwalk, Connecticut for the last 27 years and it's where she would like her pin to go on the map. So a little info about Trinidad where Ingrid was born. Trinidad and Tobago are dual islands in the Caribbean and it is one of the wealthiest countries in the Caribbean thanks to its large reserves of oil and gas. The Carnival, it's an annual event held on the Monday and Tuesday before Ash Wednesday. And the event is well known for its participants' colourful costumes and exuberant celebrations. The Pitch Lake is one of the largest natural deposits of asphalt in the world and Ingrid says it's known as the eighth wonder of the world. The lake is a major supplier of ash ash asphalt, and that one will be better in the second take, to the international market. Connecticut is a southern New England state town located on the west coast. A point of interest is the glass house built between excuse me, built between 1949 and 1995 by architect Philip Johnson. The 49-acre landscape comprises of 14 structures and features a permanent collection of 20th century painting and sculpture. 
that's great is that ingrid so thank you for that all that good information you've supplied the more information you can send the more we can go about where you live and, and, and give a bit of interest so on with ingrid's puzzle the name of the puzzle is farmer's market or it's the farmer's market series and it's called weekend market made by seco 750 pieces and she says it took four hours 10 minutes which is pretty precise so i would say she's done that in one sitting here's a picture of the completed puzzle and ingrid says it was an absolute fun puzzle to do she loves the colors and details and i especially like the young child trying to pick up the the massive pumpkin did you also notice up in that window the top window the guy after he's had his shower toweling down very suspicious so here's a lovely picture of ingrid and the completed puzzle with guy in window and boy with pumpkin um, she did not put it up for sale but ended up uh, trading it with someone local and ingrid is also another candidate for a green flag and what is a green flag the green flag is in ireland's colors for simona c for a prolific puzzler so these 34 puzzles are all done by ingrid and please enjoy it <laughs> I thought I'd seen that 2,000th piece, but I hadn't. 2,000th piece? More about that later. It's all coming up. Anyway, so there's Ingrid's uh, prolific puzzler. She'll be getting a green flag. So on with the next feature, which will be a shout out for the winner of the first mini chill competition. And the first entry was by tea bear and the phrase was subscribe to earn chill merit points chill merit points what, what's he on about what, what are you talking about 
Well, chill merit points will be for features that are coming up. You may want to put spend some chill merit points to give yourself more chance of getting pulled out the uh, puzzle completions gang. Or the next feature that's coming up will be all about getting drawn out the hat to be included and you may want to spend them in that. More about that coming up and that'll be to do with the two the 2,000th piece. I'll put my teeth in tomorrow. Okay, so what's the next thing? Time to pull the draw to see who wins a copy of Piece by Piece following on from the interview with Nadine and Laurel which was the last episode. So, on with that draw. So if you saw it, the last episode was the interview with Laurel and Nadine and they kindly offered up two copies of their book for winning on this channel. You had to name where the flag was that shouldn't have been in the map. And the flag I put up there in the middle of Russia. And the people that got it correct are in Mrs. Lady's smaller Pyrex Bowl. So this is to win a copy of Nadine and Laurel's book. So let's have a look. The first one to win is number four. And number four is Charlene McDade. So Charlene, I will um, reply to you on the YouTube comments asking you to contact jigsawchillzone at gmail.com with your details. So Laurel and Nadine can send out a book. And the second one and final one is for number one. And I have that down as Bella Gamer. And same thing, Bella, I will reply to you on the comments in YouTube. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, so that's it for the draw. On with the second puzzle completions gang. Okay, onward and upward and on with the second draw. And it is number 12. And number 12 in my trusty blue book. Eamon hey, Andrews had a red one. I've got a blue one. Is, is Juanita Column. And once again, if I've got it right, there's a picture of Juanita. Juanita lives in Yazoo City, which is in Yazoo County, Mississippi. USA is going to be taking over that map and table. It is named after the Yazoo River, which in turn was named by the French explorer Robert Lassalle in 1682 as Riviere de Yazoo, in reference to the Yazoo tribe who were living near the river's mouth. According to the 2010 census, the population was 11,403. And neither Vince Clark nor Alison Moyer live there. So, Juanita's puzzle. She also, I think she, ah, she did, she sent two puzzles. So, the first one, is Castle Dream by Amy Stewart, made by Buffalo, and it is 2,000 pieces. The second puzzle is called Evening Mood by, right then, I'm not sure of the pronunciation and I want people via YouTube comments to try and help me. Number one is Thomas Kincaid, or option number two is Thomas King Cardi. And option number three is to say, Mark, you're a buffoon. It's none of them. But if somebody could please put comments up on YouTube, is it Thomas Kincaid, number one, Thomas King Cardi, number two, Mark, you're a buffoon. Yeah. 
So I've not done one of these yet, but in the future, I think because they are quite a nice subtle picture, I am going to use one for a, a big chill. So uh, look out for that. Now, as far as the puzzle completions, gang, those two, that's all for today. So it's going to be on with the maps and the country's table. So, on we go with the maps and the country's league table. So first of all, we had Ingrid, who said she wanted her pin, which is going to be a green prolific puzzler in Norwalk. And that is, I know, just up from New York. So let's have a look on here. New York is up there, and it's just to the west. Of Bridgeport and there goes Ingrid's flag and up here New York just north and west and there's Ingrid I prefer it when I don't know where they are right and next is Juanita who was in Yazoo City and Yazoo City is just up north and west of Jackson, near the Mississippi River. There. And on the World Atlas, it's just up where we are from. Jackson. There we go. So now we've got four flags in the USA, one flag in Northern Ireland. Four flags in the USA. So let's look at the league table. And there you go. Top of the league easily is the USA with four people and Northern Ireland with one. Come on, the rest of the world. That's all I can say. So there you have the second puzzle completions, gang. Please get some information in. Plenty of uh, pictures, plenty of information, keep me busy. Okay, so until next time, adios.